This video was a part of Attainu Live class. To join our software engineering program, please go to our website. Bootstrap Grid System is a powerful, mobile-first Flexbox grid system. It can be used to build website layouts of all shapes and sizes. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Bootstrap Grids to build fully responsive web pages. Assuming this is our you know, browser and uh, we probably need uh, say three rows for this. Uh, let me draw the rows. The first one we can, you know, use it for the, you know, uh, use it for the, you know, title of our, you know, the top title of our, you know, application or search box or something like that. And uh, the second row can be the, you know, can hold our, you know, navigation and content. Or let's do two rows actually. Let's not do three rows. Let's put more things here in this row, right? So let's put more column here. So first one will hold our, you know, uh, say title. Say I call, I'm calling it awesome mail, right? This should come in the center. We'll see how we can do that. Um, and uh, our second. One is a navigation right here. We'll give it you know some some column space there, right? And uh, this can be our you know uh, navigation navigation part. And uh, we'll use some more space to you know use for our email email content. Like you know the table or you know just simple email, right? Yeah, and lastly we can use this for the ad section. You know, let show you know add one here and add one there, right? You know, add one, and then we can show you know add two, you know, add three, right? Cool. So uh, yeah, so this is the email, you know, uh, layout or content we are going to uh, build in Bootstrap, right? Take a good look. We have two rows here. First row contains only one column, but that column kind of sits in the middle. And uh, the second row contains three columns. The first one is for navigation. The second one is for the email part. And third one is where we show the ad, right? Okay, so let's see how we can do this. Cool. So as always, we need a container uh, element at the top. I'm going to give it the fluid container because I want the entire you know uh, width of my you know screen. Because who knows the the user will be you know uh, opening this email from you know his mobile browser, right? And there I cannot you know waste space, so I need the entire space. Uh, for that, I use the you know con container fluid uh, class. If for some reason you only need you know you don't need that. You need that you know white space at the beginning and you know end of the page. You can use the uh, this you know you can just use container here, right? Here I'm just using the you know container for right. So like I said, I need three rows. First one is the um, title, right? Title row, and second one I am calling it the content row, right? So I create two div tags. If somebody remember it, we uh, I showed you how to use you know semantic tags for this. But for the demo right now, you will use the div tag so that there are no new additional concepts you have to you know go through. We just use div for this, right? So yeah, um, another row here for the content, right? Cool. So we have two rows here. Right now, it won't show anything. Let, let's put our content inside this, right? So I told you I need a you know, I need a, you know, um, I need a title on the top that should be at the middle of the things, right? So for that, I can give, say, uh, you know, I can um, give it a bit to say column MD is like four, four is enough maybe. And I will put H1 there saying, okay, awesome mail, you know, this is our mail, right? I come back here and refresh and you can see it's actually uh, starting from the, you know, uh, beginning of the page, right? I'll put a HR here to you understand. Right? Yeah, so it's actually uh, starting at the beginning of the page, right? What if I want it at the center, right? So you 
may be thinking that you can use some you know md you know empty columns here you know something like you know, column d4 and do nothing there and and see it will come at the center it will actually come at the center but it's not recommended to do you know empty columns right uh, for pushing out things to the center and to the right or something um, uh, bootstrap actually provides some more classes doing this doing this empty column will create some trouble especially in the mobile so it's not recommended to do that so let's use proper class to give it a uh, you know push to the middle right there are all these class called you know offset offset class which goes by the name like this offset uh, md and then a column which you want to offset for example if i want to push one column to the right i can say the column which is called md4 here and the offset should be offset D, offset md1 again these are css classes you just need to remember there is nothing special about those names right so if you refresh Page is taking some time to refresh. I think the internet got slow. You can see it got pushed into you know one uh, one column, right, right. And uh, if I put two here, offset MD two, it will get pushed again, right. So maybe four is a good number. It will come to the middle. Yes, it has came to the middle, right. So that's how you you know uh, push you know a column you know using offset tag. Uh, if you give it more number, for example, if you give call or you know eight or something it will get pushed all the way to the right right so that is what actually this is a good uh good view you know uh put it at the right most thing you know let's do that you know let's uh reduce the size of the column for a bit i uh, know we need at least three yeah and uh push it all the way at the right right so i just made a small modification here i gave an offset of nine so that it will get pushed nine columns to the right and I gave the uh, column set of the actual content, the title here, uh, three, so that it will be shown at the uh, right end with the three column there, right? So we have a title there. It looks nice, you know, than putting the email thing in the middle. If you want to the middle, just, you know, um, uh, reduce the column size, it will come back to the middle, right? Um, we can do anything, right? Yeah, so that's, that's the first row. Uh, in um, second row, like I said, we have three columns. First one is for the navigation. Second one is for the email content itself. And third one is for the ads, right? So let's create three columns, actually. So we have to div you know divide these three columns you know, uh, equally on the screen, right? Not equally. Navigation needs, say, something like two. Two width, maybe. Okay, let's do that. Let's give navigation a class of... Uh, Core MD2, right? So that it occupies, you know, two, uh, two width of columns, right? Yeah. And similarly, the mail area may be, you know, uh, may, can occupy like four, right? I'll add this as navigation. Putting good comments like this is very helpful. So guys, please do that. Um, so this will be, our you know email area and this will be our advertisements i hope i got the spelling correct i think there will be here anyway whatever let's put add here this auto complete and all these grammar plugins will make you you know spelling poor so yeah so ads will also take you know uh, some space so we have Two plus four six, so six is remaining. We don't want even like a full six. Uh, six means half of the page, right? So let's make this guy say something like seven, uh, and this guy three. So three plus seven is ten, and remaining space that is two, uh, we can you know use it for advertisement, right? Uh, two, right? So we have three uh, three columns now. Let's start putting in content there, right? So. Um, I'll put a list navigation for that. Uh, say uh, uh, inbox. And inside that I have an A tag. These are simple things, right? You know how to create a list of links, right? Uh, junk, which is spam, and uh, trash, right? Come back and refresh, you can see our navigation, you know, uh, ready here, right? Maybe we can, you know, put a, you know, uh, like a H2 here or something and say, 
navigation or menu something like this right and put an hr here this is hr is very useful to understand how much width it occupies right so that's why i'm keeping using it right so that's our menu and uh, yeah sorry this is our menu and uh, coming back i'm not going to create a table right now because we're going to look into table a bit shortly i'm simply putting you know a mail here saying he uh, you know h2 uh, welcome to awesome email and putting some content here you know hello world and copy pasting that guy all over so that's our paragraph tag and you come back let's add a hr here yeah you come back and you refresh you get your you know mail area too right uh, and uh, finally we need the ads right let's put some ads maybe we can put an h3 say tag here and say add one and maybe an hr and a p tag uh with the you know with some ad content right and uh, say let's say there are like three four ads let's copy paste this guy so these are column three for the ad area right refresh there there you go like a email layout this is what we wanted to build uh, let's do some tweak this awesome email i think you know either it should go let's don't do the offset actually let's you know for that title let's not do the offset uh, i think it's uh, good to see in the left area way, right yeah it's actually good to see in the left area itself right so you can see that this row bootstrap will make sure that these contents right these contents won't push up to that row right so um that's that's bootstrap in action is basically making the sure that the first row will only contain the title right even though you can see that the first rows you know uh first rows um uh you know uh width is only three unit right it's not occupying the entire screen here but still since it is a row bootstrap will make sure that the rest of the content is not going up right yeah and uh yeah we have a menu here menu also looks big let's make menu a bit small um and I come back yeah now it's started you know looking to look like a real you know email app right so yeah this is this is the email you know layout for you which we have planned to build and you can also check how it will you know look in a well for example this is how it is going to look in iphone x or in iphone 6 you can see that how it nicely stacks up things together right so so yeah so that's the email layout for you i i hope you guys you know got a you know um got a you know uh, understanding of how this rolls and column works in bootstrap uh next we will look into a few you know uh components or you know plugins that bootstrap offer for us and then maybe do one example with all of these things together right so that's great for you in Bootstrap. Try to go to different website. You know, for example, this is Bootstrap website itself, and you can already see like three columns here. You know, one, two, three. Try to come with that in the Bootstrap grid, right? Or go to any of your favorite website. Try to do that grid system that website uses using Bootstrap in your computer, right? So practice that only when you practice. Actually, you know, uh, um, you know, you'll be able to uh, to to do that, right? Yeah. So Srinivas has a question, can we make that HR tag great? It is almost invisible. Yeah, that's true. Actually, you can do that. Uh, you can do that. Um, there are CSS properties for that. Uh, I don't remember which exactly is, but you know, you can HR and DN, you know, CSS. you can you know you can do that actually i don't remember exactly how to do that but if you want you can google that and you know uh, find out the reference uh, for you because by default you know the hr actually uh, looks like this i will delete you know the um, bootstrap here come back and refresh so by default you know the hr looks like like you know dark uh, black on right so you can definitely style that i don't know exactly what style is used for that uh, but you can you know look for that Srinivas and if you are not able to find something let me know I'll also look for that right cool so yeah 
where can we find different styles of grid in bootstraps right uh, by that are you talking about the different type of columns in uh, bootstrap yeah so it's right there in the you know uh, layout and grid section of the you know uh, section of bootstrap this is detailed written especially for considering mobile send off so i recommend you know just starting with the call md1 to call md12 and you know use that and later when you for example you can create like you know advanced columns like this but it's a bit you know uh, hard to get your head around to so i recommend starting with call md uh, you know and whatever column you want to use you know column d1 and you know dividing equally and putting rows together and try with that and then later move into you know things like you know self sender and all right these are especially for mobile actually in desktop and all these uh, class or styles don't make much sense but uh, on mobile it will actually so let's uh, sami uh, for you know ease of uh, learning and you know, understanding the grid system better which is the main part here the rest are simply css classes right so uh, try to uh, do that with you know a call md and then you know maybe later we can you know look into the different classes so ravi hr is html like yes, it is it is an it is a html tag actually you can actually you know use a uh, chrome developer tools to you know uh, you know like understand the styles and everything you know uh, that you know css use here right uh, yeah so this is what you know it's actually being styled so basically so you select this thing and go to your you know tag here and you will get the in a style here right and you can see it's actually border they are actually using interesting they are using border for that so if you want to make it big you go to the source code and make it something like five and you know all your you know uh all your you know hr will look like this right or even you know make the color change you can you know put something like you know black sorry you can you know select in you know, all these colors and everything from here so we can basically use chrome developer tools to check it out too but to make things this video is created for the purpose of distribution through attenue and programming knowledge channels